don't know if you were on social media over the weekend, Curtis, but there was an interesting back and forth, to say the least, between Steve Elkington and Rory McIlroy, where he accused Rory of, <laughs> of being bored. Uh, I hear you laughing about it. I guess you saw it. What do you think about that? Well, I, you know, I, I, for all the world, it's going to be shocked that I am on Twitter as of 10 days ago. <laughs> so okay. it was actually been quite fun for me because leading up promote the U.S. Open and giving my thoughts on being out of the course or whatever and had some nice comments back. Um, it's already <laughs> already gotten kind of um, – uh, it's already gotten in the gutter a couple of times. But, uh, but you know what I did learn? After a couple of drinks, do not get on your Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Curtis, i, I got to be know, honest with you. I've, I've been on Twitter since the 09 draft, the NFL draft, yeah. where you know the NFL network's like, why don't you guys get on Twitter and social media? Uh, the, the, the moment when your thumb hovers over the send slash tweet send button. button. Yeah, you got to yeah. have a clear you – know, like, it's like I told my two teenage boys when they started dating and got to college. That guys, after you've been drinking a little bit, don't call the girlfriend. Nothing good comes from it. <laughs> Ever. Do not hit send. <laughs> so anyway, to answer your question, I did see some of that. And you have to know Elk, Steve Elkington, um, to realize where he's coming from. Um, he's harmless. He hits send sometimes without going through that filter. Um, he's actually – somewhat entertaining but degrading and a bit annoying to a lot of people um so and what he said about Roy McIlroy was a little bit you know below the kneecaps below mm -hmm. the belt I should say but Roy you know what I've seen Roy and and even before I got on Twitter account he responds very well <laughs> he's got a wicked sense of humor and a in a in a sarcastic tone that he plays above the he plays the high road but you know he's playing the low road too. Yes, so, he does play both uh, roads. But yeah, I, I, it's been fun. But I, I guess in that regard, though, I mean, is it fair or unfair, um, Curtis, to say that when Tiger was winning championships, four wasn't enough, and then f five wasn't enough, and then six wasn't enough, and it just appears that that hunger isn't there for Rory and or any of the uh, extremely talented players of his generation. Is that fair or unfair to say? Well, I think it's it's fair in this sense. Is Tiger set the bar at many different levels. One is that was the focus and the hunger. Hunger, very very selfish, uh, focused, and I mean the selfish word in a good way. But it's all about you. It's all about your golf game. Everything revolves around you. But he took it to the next level. I hate that phrase too. Uh, <laughs> you know, he just did everything beyond belief. Now. If, if, if Rory McIlroy is to be held to that standard, he's not going to reach that because Rory has a life. He just got married. He likes to do other things. That's all good. There's no, you, you have to be human out here. Rory's going to be the type of player that's going to play very, very well and sometimes not so well. Um, you know, he's had some injuries he's dealing with right now. I don't think that bothered him at all this week. But um, I, I, was, I was surprised uh, – I was with Rory the first day, and I was a little surprised at how poorly he did play. Um, but, you know, it happened. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that video, be sure to download our app, and I'll be sure to help the NFL figure out what a catch is.